Boss Rutten, as he usually does, has taken matter into his own hands. I'll do that. Because somebody had to. With some of the questionable rankings we've had. Yes. Boss is doing his own now. So after the mere fight, where does that put him? Here's Boss's look at the heavyweight <laughs> top ten. This is awesome. Alistair Overeem, number one. Yes. And why? Because you're from Holland. <laughs> and he's a great fighter. I just nobody wants to fight him. First Fredo fights Rogers and then you know and then and then Verdun beats Fedor, but then he still doesn't want to fight. Nobody wants the title, apparently. So I figured him, you know, this guy right now is so strong. He's got the gas to, to, to back it up. He's great on his feet. He's phenomenal on his feet. He's the only, the only guy in mixed martial arts who has fights like K1. Knocked out Butter Hari, one of the best fighters on the planet. You and, know, and, in. And, and Fedor, Fedor lost one fight. That's what I was thinking. And everybody gives him bags him now. And everybody says, oh, this guy's not a good fight. He lost one fight. He beat the top guys. He beat Mirko. He beat Noguera. He beat all the top dogs, you know. I think he still deserves there on number four. Boss, you can really see um, Alex beating uh, Fedor? Yes. And uh, Brock Lesnar? Yes. Uh, I, I truly believe so. Huh? I have to disagree. I yeah. agree, too. Let me yeah. ask you. Well, let me well, ask you that's guys why we're here, right? Hey, it's <laughs> <me ask, laughs> a free country. Let me ask you guys about <laughs> Fedor for a minute. We've we posed this before. There's no doubt, one of the greats, maybe the greatest of all mm -hmm. time, no doubt. But it's a little bit like Brett Favre right now. Would you say this is still one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL? I don't no. know about Brett Favre, no. no Fader, but, he's no, still the there best. There was a moment, but I'm just saying, you know, well, he lost to Verdum, and I'm just saying, if you look at recent opponents taking Verdum out, he's fought a lot of former UFC champs, mm -hmm. guys that have passed their day. That's all I've ever said about Fedor. I mean, yep. when you look at Brock, which that fight's never going to happen, and Verdum beats him. I don't know, I'm just throwing it out. Carl, I know you got something to say. Verdum and, and Fedor, okay? Okay, he fought. It wasn't like uh, F Fedor was out of shape. He got, he thought he rocked them. He dropped them, which, you he know, Verdum, right. Verdum was not rocked. He got hit in the shoulder. He got pushed down from the impact. He comes in and he starts hitting him like this. That's when you actually have a guy rocked and you're trying to finish the fight. He almost get caught in the arm bar. He pulls out. Pulls out. You, got, you got bit by a shark from there. You stand up and you back up. You have to realize, this guy Verdum is a world champion off his back. He's a good grappler, long legs, he's very strong. It's the first minute of the fight, they're both dry. If he catches something, he's going to break it. Yep. He gets caught the second time, it's too deep, <laughs> and he taps. I do not think he'll make the same mistake again. He made a but third great beat. mistake. He Don't got, you drop if you no, get no, no, beat? No, of course. I'm just saying, listen, he got beat fair and square. He, got, he actually tapped. He lost. What I'm saying is that does not mean Fedor Emelianenko is done. He no, made a no, mistake. No, no, I've never said that. He got caught. I agree. It won't happen again. I guarantee you that. No, I, I agree. Nothing taken away from Verdum, by no. the way. That's my opinion. No, you're right. You know, I, I, I think that also. Yeah. And, and with, Brock, with Brock is with me. Well, I just want him to see if punch is coming at him, not looking away. Right, thank and you. I want him to be on the ground, and if somebody comes, pull guard. And until you don't have the skills in mixed martial arts, I say, well, then, yeah, yeah you're not a number one for me. Is he strong? Is, listen, he's a great athlete. He's got a full tank of gas, which I always complain about the other fighters, but he has it. He's very tough. I give you that. But these are just basic stuff that I not want to Not for MMA, do. though. 